Hi, this is David McCarter, aka Dotnet Dave. Welcome to another episode of Dog Fooding. It's been quite a while since I've done an episode, but I've got a good one for you. Today, I'm going to show you a program that I use uh, at least a couple times a week from a company I really do like uh, called Line 6. Line 6 is a guitar amplifier company. The program is Line 6 Pod HD 500X Edit. This is for a guitar floorboard uh, and the only really good way to edit all the settings, effects and amplifiers and things like that inside of the floorboard itself. Before I show you how they implemented their user experience, which I would give them a definite D in a grade scale of A to F, almost all the guitar gear I have is line six. Got an amplifier, got a floorboard that I'm gonna be talking about. I have another amplifier and I even have their guitar, which is my main guitar that I love and I've had for uh, 13 years now, I guess, more. Uh, so let's take a look at their edit program for the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. This is the Pod HD 500X edit program. And I'm using an offline mode. So to open settings, I've got to go to File and Open Bundle. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to edit values in an amplifier. If I put in a value, you think I would be able to tap off of it and go to the next, like go to, from drive to bass, but that doesn't work. Now that I have my amp settings set up, I'm going to save the bundle, move off of a setting and go back to the original setting. Wow, you can see that all my amp settings that I just did, all back to zero. Great. What the hell? You would think you'd be able to move an amp from path A to path B or path B to path A, but nope, you can't move amps around. I also can't move the amps up and down in the main editing window down there either. And actually amp B, I can't drag anywhere. If I drag it there, then it wipes out the other amp. And if I drag, drag it back to where I was, you can see the amp is gone. Right mouse clicking on an amp and doing copy and paste, that doesn't work either. And I can't copy effects either. Let's say I wanted to create another effect based off of the original effect, that doesn't work. You can't copy and paste. And in the effects section, it would be nice if I could move the different effects up and down to maybe organize them better. Or even if they were just listed in the order that they appeared in the graphic above, that would be even nicer, but that doesn't work either. Also, the screen doesn't resize, not with the maximize button or trying to drag one of the corners. That doesn't work. So I'm going to show you some of the settings like this echo effect. You can't even set by a number value. You can only set it by moving the mouse around on the button itself, which is not very accurate. Also, you would think while I'm viewing a set list like this one here, I should be able to edit the set list. But no, can't do that. I have to go to the set lists tab and edit it there. But I found out recently that even when you edit a name of a set list, the actual pedal board will wipe the name out. This app doesn't even support file save. It's hard to see because it got cut off in the screen grab, but you can only open or save as. There's no save. So if I wanted to do like command button FS, that doesn't work. As you can see here, if I move the mouse over any of the effects, it'll highlight the effect down below. But as you can see, it's barely noticeable. And if you're not moving around, it's not noticeable at all, especially if you're colorblind. This program doesn't seem to sort any lists at all. You can see here, if I go to the model of my Variax guitar, none of the values are sorted. Even when I go to the effects and click on one of the effects, none of the available effects are sorted either. This stuff is so basic. In this example, I'm going to show you that if I type in a value, press return, it doesn't keep the value. You can see here, I'm going to type in 40 and it changes it back to 41. 40, 41. The only way to change it is by actually moving the button, which is just crazy to me. And it's not just that one button. It doesn't work on this one over here either. So there's multiple places that this stuff doesn't work right. So there you have it. 
the Line 6 Pod HD 500X edit program. Not a great experience by any stretch. Every weekend when I go in to dial some new settings for my guitar, it's just an operation and frustration. So Line 6, I love your guitar equipment. Can you please fix your applications? Please hire a software developer who knows what they're doing. This edit program actually works on Windows, which is what I showed you, but also works on the Mac, and the Mac version is just as bad. They're equally bad user experience. So Line 6, please get your act together when it comes to the software that we have to use. Well, thanks a lot. I'll see you next time on Dog Fooding with Dave Ricardo.